<laughs> and every time I have that intro on a new map, I love it all the same. Welcome to Olympus. Uh, my name is Commander Tom, and this is the Odyssey of Olympus. And as this is uh, a new map and a new world, you're going to forgive me as I'm going to do the standard uh, snatch and grab to build up supplies to get us going on this map. So let's start with the basics. Why am I even here? Well, you can blame my son. Thanks, Lex. A couple years back, I did a little bit of YouTube. Minecraft, mostly. But ever since then, well, and uh, shortly thereafter, I stopped. Life happened. But ever since then, my son Lex has been asking me, Dad, when are you going to do YouTube again? When are you going to do YouTube again? When are you going to do YouTube again? Well, with Christmas break happening now, I have some time on my hand, so I've opted to start this up again. So if you like what you're seeing here, leave a like. Let me know that you appreciate my son bugging me. So uh, moving on to why this game. Well, I like Ark. I've been playing Ark for years now. Uh, I've played mostly the island, just a smidgen of Scorched Earth, and uh, a lot of Ragnarok. Really love that map. Did a lot of uh, server and stuff with that. Why Olympus? Well, I wanted something different. New maps are always fun. And, uh, as many of you do, I pay attention to wildcard news. And I heard that uh, the Olympus map won the mod contest for uh, 2019. That's how I first heard of it. When I heard of it, I did what most of you did. I looked up some things on YouTube. And I was surprised to see only, maybe, a handful of Let's Plays or walkthroughs on it. I was kind of surprised. But I was curious. And from that curiosity, I then uh, grabbed, well, searched for maps. You know, dinosaur spawn maps, and also resource maps. I couldn't find any. And that got me really curious. So you're telling me a map that won the 2019 map uh, mod contest didn't have any major walkthroughs, didn't have spawn map, didn't have resource map, and she still won? That got me curious. That made me determined to do this. The Odyssey of the Oasis. This is absolutely going to be a Let's Play of the Olympus map. This is going to be an exploration Let's Play. I'm playing single player here. I've got no tribe mates to back me up. It's you, me, and whatever the island throws at us. So you're going to have to pull your weight and help me out. <laughs> Um, specifically, um, I will probably add in a few extra things here and there. I will likely give myself a GPS early on because I want to be able to give you map and coordinates to the resources as I find them. Um, if you're at all familiar with the uh, Ragnarok Explorers Club and uh, they went on to do some exploration of Algaro, I loved what Unite the Clans did with that. I kind of want to do that here with Olympus. I want to explore this place, see what it has to offer, and leave notes and useful information so those of you who watch this can come with me. If you take a look, you can tell I'm a little bit modded. I've got the what I kind of view as the standard ones, S plus for certainty. I've got uh, classic flyers, a couple of others. Uh, nothing, I think, game-breaking. <laughs> One thing I will say is that this is something I put out for fun. This is something I do for relaxation. I... Mm, stupid freaking bird. I thought you went away. You're really gonna make... Come on! Oh, I hate these things. I hate these skyborne pickpockets. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Come on. Come on. Where are you? this game. I hate this game sometimes. Can I make anything? Alright. 
Anyway, before I was interrupted by that stupid bird, uh, this is going to be an explorer's map. In fact, my primary focus on the first few days of any map... Oh, <clears throat> okay. So, I'll go ahead and try to enjoy the fact that Ark is a kill-yourself type of game, apparently. How I killed myself, I'm not quite sure. But I'll uh, enjoy it by saying, if you like the way I died, leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> well, at least enjoy the f uh, torture that uh, this game can give. But what I was going to say is, as this is an explorer's map, I'm an ocean-going guy. I'm a water-based guy. I'm a pirate on this game. So you're going to see me race to a raft. You're going to see me work my tail off to get to the raft. Now that's something that uh, does take quite a bit of supplies to get to. So that's going to be my focus for this episode. And we'll see if by the end of it, we can get ourselves onto the water. Stick with me. Alright. Found my body. <laughs> and how many games do you actually get to say that? I found my body. Usually your head's attached to it, you know? Let's get the gear. Oh, I can hear the dang thing. No! Mm. Skyborne pickpocket of irritation. I hate them. Come on. Mm. Come on. Oh, come on. Perfect shot. Come on. Come on. How does it... How does a bird knock my freaking pick out? Yes! Die! And now he's take you. Alright, so a little about myself. One thing to be aware of is that I'm a Scoutmaster. I actually teach boys skills of living outdoors in the woods. And some of those skills actually include bow and arrow, archery. And from that I can tell you that making a bow and making an arrow is a lot easier than making the hatchet and the pick <laughs> that the game has you start off with. So, to make it more realistic, yes, I'm giving myself a bow, and I'm giving myself arrows early on. I'm only giving myself the engrams, the knowledge on how to do it. I'm still going to bust my hump to get the supplies to make this stuff, but I think this is one, more realistic, two, more fun for me, and three, ultimately, get us to the raft quicker. Gotta keep in mind. We are explorers. We need to be mobile. So we need to get ourselves to that raft as soon as possible. Now, I've mentioned it a couple of times now about the raft. Well, from just good old experience, I know that uh, to get to the raft, 
I need to get to level 16. But to get there, I also, and once I'm there, I also need to get 125 pieces of fiber, 75 pieces of hide, and 250 pieces of wood. I've played way too much Ark. <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, it's been my experience that uh, the levels usually isn't uh, that hard. Uh, you can often get there just by getting the supplies together. Fiber is usually pretty easy. So the main question then becomes hide or wood? It's usually a toss up on which is going to be the uh, harder to get. So that's why you see me get an archery a little bit. Archery will help with hide a lot more. Wood is what we focus on. I'm also going to go ahead, I've given myself Ducktopia, uh, pardon me, Ducktopia's reusable uh, mod because I really like the reusable spear and I really like the reusable uh, grappling hook and it's been my experience that Ducktopia's mod does not crash your game. I know there's a more popular one out there that exists but it generally crashes your game. Now I need to get a few things set up here. I need to get a fire. You'll see I use S plus a lot. You'll also see me using storage boxes more. I generally do not set up a shop. I do not set up an early entry base. I mostly set myself up with just enough storage boxes to throw my gear into until I have enough supplies to build a boat to throw that gear into. Uh, it's an unusual dynamic, but if I'm going to stick around local spawn, I've never really seen the need to really build a base that quickly when I want to be a mobile. I want to move. I want to explore. I don't want to build a house every six feet. I want to get my boat built and let's start exploring this map. That's my focus. You know, just like Arnold would say, get to the chopper! I want to get to the raft! <laughs> and I'm looking at myself now with just enough material to make the hat and the feet, uh, the shoes, and I don't have a pants or shirt. <laughs> oh, okay. We need to do some grinding. We need to get some basic clothing, and we need to get some basic supplies. And I'm going to need a fire tonight, so let's uh, hit the wood. Okay, take a look here. I got three rocks. You know, I think we found a base camp. I'm going to drop uh, like a storage box here, and then I'm going to get a fire in here. And I think this is going to be where I kind of hang out until we get to the raft. All right, skipped a uh, small little grain session just to get the basic supplies to uh, set up shop here in this uh, wood, uh, this uh, stone covering. Go ahead and. Uh, I'm going to need some fire, that's for certain, and I like torches. Torches save my butt, especially the S Plus torches that you can program to come online automatically and not turn off. I have found my uh, supply stash more often not because of a lit torch than anything else, so you'll see me drop those down here. Get the fire down to cook up some food, because I'm going to need that quick. Where's the torch? There it is. I knew I was going to make that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Okay, so I know how to. Do I have the supplies for it? Check it out. Yeah, might as well get the food cooking. Okay. Don't need all the wood. Yeah, that should do. Drop that in. Okay, so I got supper on the fire. Okay, offload. Okay, mocking me. That's one of the things that always gets me. Beacon drop at a color level, you are nowhere near. It mocks me every time. Okay, skip another short uh, grind session. Let's take a look and get some of this stuff built up here. I know, like I said, going to want a couple of those to keep everything lit at night. And let's get some clothes on this bugger. Let's at least get pants on. 
I swear, I always feel weird if I don't at least have pants. You know, I'm a guy, I'm playing, it, I'm a guy in real life, I'm a guy in the game, I don't care if I don't have a shirt on, but can I get pants on, please? Oh, good, I've got enough for a shirt, too. There we are. There we are. Much better. I can deal with that. Don't really care about gloves. Here, anything of major interest? Nothing yet. Alright. Take a look here. Let's get these torches planted here. And let's make uh, some more arrows. Let's keep uh, ammo up. Alright. And get back to uh, the base rocks. Now, I like to put these out to the side because, well, it spreads out more light. And also, when I'm off on the distance, my base fire or my base boxes might not be able to be seen, but my uh, torches can be seen. And get that turned off. I don't want it to turn off. I want it to stay on forever. One reason why I like S. Plus. And drop a second one. Uh, that mm, about there. Okay, set up the programming. me on camera, aren't you? I know you're mocking me. Stop mocking me. I said stop mocking me. Stay. Good fire. Well, on my way to get a drink, I just want to point out, that's what I mean by torches as your best friend. A couple of those around, easy to find your camp wherever you are. Okay, kids, don't try this at home. I'm gonna be stupid. I gotta make some plays to get some hide. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna be stupid, but we're gonna go for it. Real stupid. You, the, on record, I'm gonna die. Okay, kids. I'm gonna get caught King tried again. See if I get lucky. Maybe I've just overestimated uh, trikes all along. Okay. Here we go. Get lucky. Get lucky. Come on. Oh, that always sucks. Okay. Yeah, he's coming. He's gonna come. Oh! Remember, if you like how I died, like or subscribe. <laughs> Let's try this one again. <sighs> okay. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm alive. And again, I'll illustrate that fire is your friend and helps you find your stuff. This is what I'm talking about. I've never seen the point of a major respawn bed when you're early game, because you're never too far from your respawn bed. Now, if Ark starts giving me far, far away spawn points, I'll probably change things up, but until they change that dynamic, I'm not going to change my respawn, uh, don't build a base early on policy, uh, at all. Now, 
once I actually build a boat, you'll see me build the actual beds and stuff in there. But that's a separate story. Try it again. I am an idiot, but we're going to try it again. Come on. Come on. Go down this time. Go down. All I want is your skin. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. So I'm on a normal supply run. Did someone call up for delivery? I didn't know that was an option. But I'll take it. Alright. Dodo 2, I'll take it. Come on. There we are. It's not delivery. It's Dodo Dillo. Okay, looks like a little bit more skin for the raft crawling through here. Uh, okay, oh, he's gonna make me work for it. Okay, that's fine. Dude, are you running to camp? Okay. I took delivery before, I'll take delivery again. Come on, come on. Dude, are you running into my fire? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. No. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yep. Put another critter on this pick. I got a barbecue. Now that is a pretty critter. I've never seen an albino trike before. Okay. See, this is why I like to play the game. You see the new things. You get the color patterns right on a new critter, it looks all sorts of new. I'll take that in a heartbeat. While I'm here. <laughs> hmm. Let me knock these out. Hey, see that right over there? It's a metal spawn. I know the first spot we're going to when we get the raft built. Let's see if we can get in there, find that, and anything else. Okay, we've had good luck with trikes. Let's try our luck again. Lord have mercy. Here we go. Oh, my aim stinks. Come on. Okay, got him now. Got him now. Okay, he's got me now. Come on. Come on. Ow. Ow. Two. Oh, crook. Two. Two. No fair. No fair. Hey, I was taking you on one-on-one. -on -one. This isn't fair. Okay. Come on. Come on. Ow. Come on. <laughs> Sweet. I cannot believe I'm pulling this off. What? Did... No fair. No fair. This is not fair. This is not what I signed up for. No. No. Okay, come on. Relax. Relax. Okay, I think this guy's a higher level crud. Come on. Die. 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 Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Okay, this is not going easy for me. Come on. If you like that death. Remember to like and subscribe for more. <laughs> that sucked. Okay, so, cards on the table. 
this is like my third or fourth death in a row since that uh, Triceratops. Uh, but the trike was the only one to kill me that time. It was the super ants that got me thereafter. I hate the super ants. They're annoying as heck, but they're also boring. And I don't want to give you guys boring footage. So, I went through the grind a few times to get myself back here. But the bottom line is, I'm here. And I also like to take out the, my dead bodies so I don't have the death beacons uh, clogging up the horizon. Let's get back to work. Okay, so, getting to a point where I uh, need to work up some supplies as well as need to get some extra engram points going on. And one way to do that that I honestly really enjoy is to not get squashed by a dino. But another option is also to uh, get uh, your uh, narco production up. So let me start to get the pieces together for this. Believe it or not, I'm going to be building the foundation not for the bed, but because I can't put the mortar and pestle on the ground. I personally think that's a little ridiculous, but it's the way Ark is built. So let me get that uh, stuff put together here. the S plus. I generally I'll almost always go with the S plus because they usually add additional inventory slots and I've played enough games that it always seems to be a case of insufficient inventory space. When Minecraft introduced the shulkered box I did a happy dance. Okay, get a mortar and pestle. Drop it. I want to get it to, I don't have to move it when I put some walls on this thing. I'll probably turn this into a respawn hut before we sail out. So let's grab all of our berries and stuff. Drop that in there. Okay. Okay. Uh, ah, crud. I gotta learn the Ingram. I'm an idiot. No problem. There we are. Yep. Okay. Get back in there, and all. Thank you. And that will happily grind away, making uh, Narco and scoring me XP while I'm out doing other things. It's one thing I really like about that system. <laughs> Did you ever have one of those times where you didn't have to look for trouble? Trouble came looking for crud, you good gosh! Trouble came stomping literally into your camp, onto your fire, <laughs> and just battling out on your supply boxes. Oh my gosh. And I'd love to knock out this terror bird, but I don't really want to take off another trike after the way I got mauled the last time. This is ridiculous. Okay, we're going to try and look, see if I can get a lucky shot in here. Terror bird, I'd be happy to shoot more. I just don't want to tick the trike off again. I'm just about to a point to actually build a raft. I don't want to die. And I'm out of arrows. Okay. Let's see how this does. Okay, yep. Oh, I used myself as a Come on. Come on. You're a gorgeous bird, but you're also a terrible bird. There we are. You <laughs> terror birds off and you have to see if yep. Come on. Come on. There we are.
All right, time is gone. I think we got the supplies. There we are. Bring it in. <laughs> I don't care if I'm encumbered. As long as I can hold it, I'm happy. Come on. I think I've got it. Okay. Yeah. I love the weight to ratio on here. I'm maxed. There we are. Build it. Take so long. Take several seconds. Tick tock, tick tock. things with us. I'll deal with that later. Ah, oh, this part always feels so good to me. Drop the first boat in the water. <sighs> okay, so I think this is pretty common knowledge, but in case you do not know of it, let's go through the rundown. Once you actually uh, saddle up into the raft, you're going to want two foundations and a uh, pillar. If you're running S+, Plus, I also strongly encourage the demo gun. Disengage from the raft, but don't move at all. Bring up one of your foundations. Keep the sail up. Your sail is your reference point. What you want to do is then use a foundation and get that to be at the very edge of the raft. And then the right side of the foundation you want to line up center with the mast. Also, the three legs of the wood foundation. You want those to line up with the crossbeam of the raft. Line up the legs with the crossbeam, the side with the mast. You're pretty much dead center set up for a center aligned two width raft. I prefer this for my initial build and I also prefer this for my secondary build that we'll get to once I have the supplies. Right now we'll drop it on once you've got the first one dropped in, go ahead and go to your raft, disengage your sail. Get it out. It's blinding. Grab your pillar, drop it in the foundation. Once that's in, grab your second foundation. Use it for the lower point, so it's a lowered foundation. At this point, you get your demo gun, your rinse, and your repeat. I'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit for you. Okay, and of course, you're going to want a ceiling to uh, be able to extend off your uh, foundations to the uh, edges of your boat. All I need for this design is 2x2 two two off the rear. So we're just going to go with the real simple 2x2 two two foundation and drop that in. Of course, it helps if you actually attach the foundation to the boat. Uh, let me get that uh, fixed real quick. Okay, and... Yeah. Okay, I think I'm too close to shore. Which just goes to show you that even when you know what you're doing, occasionally you might make a slight mistake. I'm not going to feel bad about it. Let me just pull this out a little bit. That should be more than enough. There we are. That took. Okay, I went ahead and dropped the supplies we need into the chest. Now, do keep in mind, I've got four foundations already in uh, the boat as is, but uh, that plus what you see here is all you need to get a basic raft going on. I use a lot of windows, I use a lot of hatch frames because I've had to shoot dinos through that more often than I want to count. So, grab the gear 
and we just start placing it around the raft. And with the last piece, she's done. Now I do not say that this thing's going to win any beauty pageants, but she serves me well, especially for early game. This is my first boat. This is my first base. This is what we will use to explore Olympus. I'm Commander Tom. Thanks for uh, getting to know me today. I hope to see you next week as we begin our Odyssey of Olympus. Catch you later.